Welcome to the program. Welcome to Currency World. Today we'll be taking a look at a list of the top 10 most valuable coins in the world. This list features coins that were actually sold and the prices that were realized at auctions or at private sales. These were coins that were available to the general public. It does not include coins that are considered priceless that are housed in museums across the world or in private collections. So without further ado, let's begin. At number 10, we have the 1804 silver dollar, which was graded proof 62 by NGC. This coin sold in April 17th of 2008 at Heritage Auctions in Dallas, Texas for a staggering $3,700,000. $37,500. Now, for more than 100 years, the 1804 silver dollar has been known as the king of U.S. coins. Although the coin is dated 1804, none of the silver dollar specimens were actually minted in 1804. In 1834, the U.S. Mint received orders from the White House to strike complete sets of proof coinage meant to serve as diplomatic gifts for sovereigns, which is this coin sort of claim to fame. These coins were minted for the Sultan of Muscat, the King of Siam, and the Emperors of Cochin, China, and Japan. Unfortunately, there were no silver dollars with the date of 1804, so the U.S. Mint made a special die with the 1804 date and created some 1804 silver dollars. Little did they know that they would be creating one of the most rare and expensive coins in the world at that time. At number 9, we have the 1913 Liberty Head Nickel. This coin could either be categorized as number 9 or number 10, since it is tied in value with our previous entry, selling for $3,737,500 in January 7th of 2010 at Heritage Auctions, also in Dallas, Texas. Now, this coin's claim to fame was that it was featured in the 1970s television series Hawaii Five-0. This exact coin was used for a close-up shot for the television show while a common Liberty Head nickel was used for the action shots where the date could not be discerned and the risk of damaging it was too great. So in other words, they wanted to make sure they didn't damage this coin but they did use close-ups of it. Apparently, this did not really help increase its value by much since this coin originally sold for the $3,737,000 thousand five hundred dollars later sold in 2004 at another auction for three million two hundred ninety thousand dollars so that was quite a loss and it goes to show that in the world of coins like other collectibles or even stocks bonds and other investments it, they can be very volatile at number eight we have the 1804 bus dollar class one dexter and pogue specimen and this coin realized a total price of at auction of three million eight hundred sixty five thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars wow this coin sold relatively recently on march 31st of 2017 at the Stacks, Bowers, Galleries, and Sotheby's. What's special about this particular coin is that it has a small D punched in a cloud on the reverse of the coin, indicating that it belonged to James V. Dexter, a wealthy numismatist who owned it for 14 years at the end of the 19th century. Now, this numismatist's collection is expected to fetch more than $100 million in total. At number 7 on the list, yet again, another 1804 bust dollar, Class 1 McKinley and Hahn specimen. This coin, similar to some of our previous entries, fetched a staggering 
$3,877,500, and it sold on August 9th of 2013 at Heritage Auctions in Dallas, Texas. Now, there are only 15 known authentic specimens that were struck at three different times of this particular coin, two of which we have already seen. By closely examining these coins, professional numismatists classified each of the 15 coins into one of three classifications. Class 1, or original. Class 2, meaning they were the first restrike coins. And Class 3, meaning they were the second restrike. Regardless of their classification, these coins always set records when they cross the auction books and for good reason, they are very rare. This particular example that sold was graded proof 62 by PCGS. At number six on our list, we have our first Canadian entry, the $1 million gold Canadian maple leaf. Wow, that's a big piece of gold. This coin sold for $4,020,000 in June of 2010 in Vienna, Austria. In 2007, the Royal Canadian Mint produced the world's first million dollar gold coin. The coin measures 20 inches in diameter, so it's quite large. It measures 1.2 inches in thickness, so this is a very substantial coin and it contains over 100 kilograms, which is almost 220 pounds of 99.999% pure gold. The idea of the coin was initially conceived as a centerpiece to promote the Royal Canadian Mint's new line of 99.999% pure one troy ounce gold maple leaf bullion coins. To date, Five of these gold bullion coins have been purchased by investors from around the world. The last coin to sell at public auction sold for 3.27 million euros at an auction in Vienna. This coin is truly any gold investor's dream. At number five, our friend, the 1804 silver dollar, is back again. This time, it is a Class 1 Waters Child specimen. Now, this coin realized $4,140,000 at auction when it was sold on August 30th of 1999 at the Bowers and Morena auction. As we mentioned before, this specimen is known as the king of US coins and it is the finest example of the 1804 silver dollar and this particular example what makes it special is that it is graded proof 68 which is pretty damn near perfect perfect being proof 70 this was graded by PCGS, which is a very reputable grading company. When this coin sold in August of 1999, it became the world's most valuable coin. It easily beat out the previous record holder, another 1804 silver dollar, by over two times the amount. This coin was originally owned by the Sultan of Muscat in 1835, and then by the Childs family for more than 50 years. And then, once again, it was put on the auction block by D. Brent Pogue. A bid of $10,575,000, the most ever offered for a coin, was placed by phone for this 1804 draped bust silver dollar, but it failed to reach the cosigner's reserve price. Some of the auctions house have released the statement and... Eventually, the coin sold for the price that I previously mentioned, the $4 million mark. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help me out.